Okay, guys, I want to show us how I how I order a product like I showed us yesterday in yesterday's video. Let me show us. I want to order this product this morning. So let me use a live um, protocol. Like this product, you can see it is a headphone and it's 48 to 1. And the minimum I can buy is one, um, one pieces. Then if I want to buy from 100 to 449, I will buy at the rate of 46 to 1. Then if I want to buy from 500 upwards, I will buy at the rate of 43 yuan. So at this point, um, I want to order one pieces, okay? So I'm going to click on um, this red button down below. I'll click on it. All right. Remember I told you, um, if you look at this uh, username and password, you see the number is not like uh, username. This is the one alipay created because i created alipay account separately so i didn't follow the method i showed you this morning so alipay created so um, my alipay account is tied to this uh, a particular account not the uh, 1688 officially that i used to search my product and talk with uh, sellers so this is my account now i logged in i'll click on the red button now uh, the red box to log in okay once I log in now, I remember I told you something like this will come up. Select uh, open with Chrome just once, okay? Just click on it. It leads you to the account. Now I've logged in finally. So now remember what I told you and why you need to use the browser in case of colors, like this photo has different colors. I'll click on the other button again. Now it has brought me um, to where I'm going to select the colors I want okay so this way I'm going to select the colors I want you can see the picture here now if I click any of the color or any one the the picture will change you can see the picture has changed okay now if I click on any other one any other one like this you see the picture has also changed um, all right, to let you know the color you are selecting. All right, so um, there is a color I've selected, and I don't want this color, I don't like it. I want to get the black one, so this is a black color, the one I'm ordering now. So I'll click the red button down here. Okay, remember, I've already funded my account, my Alipay account. I made mention of that yesterday. Okay, so you can see it one pieces and um all right so um now this is look at it here now you can see it's not 54 extra how much six dollars the six dollar is uh, the shipping cost okay now the next thing i'm going to do now i, I don't want to send it through st patrick's I don't want St. Patrick's to bring it for me. So I'll click on this arrow on the address here. It's going to lead me to where I have other addresses, okay? So I'm going to select this Danke's address, this uh, Ming Kong address, this, uh, um, let me sell, uh, see the. So I'm going to select this uh, one, Huyombo. This is Huyombo address, okay? So that's the address I want. Uh, the person I actually want, the agent I want to use. Then the next thing I'm going to do now, I want to leave a message to this seller, okay? Then I will go to uh, my Google Translator, okay? I'm going to type the message I want to uh, drop to this seller. I'm going to say, um, please, please, please use Express Shipping so I can get it on time. Also, sorry, also, also write, um, that's my name, okay, so that the seller will, look on, that's also write Jubison, right, on the parcel, okay? So this is the message I want to drop. So I'm going to copy it. All right, I'm going to copy it. Then I will come back to my
my store where I'm ordering, okay? Then I'm gonna click on leave message where you see leave message. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna paste it. You can see it here. Okay. Oh sorry. I'm gonna paste it. Now if you check here, you can see shipping fee six yuan. Uh the total purchase is forty eight, then shipping cost is six. This shipping cost is a panel shipping. That's the cost of sending it from the seller to the agent. Okay. I've dropped a message for the seller now. All right. The user express by Jubison on it. So once the agent gets it and see Jubison, they already know, even without me sending the tracking number or the web number, they already know it's my parcel. Okay. So I will just click submit. All right. So I'm just going to use submit. So um it's going remember i told you yesterday okay remember i talked about this yesterday that if you already have a funded account you're going to take me to where i'm going to select alipay or bank deposit remember you are using alipay okay now i'll remove this then i'll go to pay okay then the next place is going to take you now is the alipay itself so I'm going to pay this amount. I'm going to click on the blue button below. So it's requesting for my PIN. All right. So I'm going to put that 200458. All right. So payment done. Done. I'm done. I've purchased this item. I'll click on the blue button at the top. Okay. That's done. Then I'll say once. Okay. So it's going to take me to um, back to my 1688 uh, orders order page. Okay, you can see it is pending to be delivered. I've paid. All right, you can see other items I've or purchased already that have to be delivered. Okay, uh, this one was cancelled. This order was cancelled. You can see it here. This order was also cancelled. So this other was cancelled. This other was cancelled. This one successful transaction. You can see it. This one is successful transaction it was delivered. Okay. You can see it. These are orders are product pending received. That means the agent have not received this one. This particular item. The agent have not received it. Okay. So this is what you look out for. Okay. I ordered this one yesterday. It has not been shipped. Once it's shipped, you see the tracking number somewhere to be delivered. It has not been delivered. This one I just ordered now. I will wait until once the, the seller sends it, then I will have the tracking number somewhere here. I believe this makes sense to us. Thank you very much and see you.